Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will learn about profiles, why do Spring introduced profiles? Spring profiles provide a way to segregate parts of your application configuration and make it be available only in certain environments. So mainly four types of environments, like dev, QA, stage, and production. So with the help of profile, we can restrict some configurations available only in a certain environment. For example, as I said four types of environments so if I want to set up the different database configuration as per the environment so this can be achieved very easily with the help of the profile. We can check active profile in YML file as well as in class also. So let's see how to achieve that. Before adding any further changes let's go through the application. If you want to download this code then download and change as per your requirement. Before adding profile related changes, I just want to add one change. If you remember in Spring Security Config, we used environment for reading context path from application YML file. There is another way to read using value annotation. Let's see how do we do it. It's very simple. Now it is looking much better. Let's check quickly it's working or not. See it's working. Let's add profile related changes. Create two profiles like dev and QA. Need to activate one profile at a time, add active profile property. Like we active dev profile, just to make it simple, we are using a different schema for each profile, but my database is the same for both the profile, if you want, you can choose multiple DB with their configuration like Oracle or PostgreSQL. So here scenario is very simple, when dev profile is active it will connect with mighty java and if QA profile is active then it will connect with almighty java, add one more condition like show sql true only when dev profile is active. I hope you got the idea what is the use of profiles and with the help of YML it becomes much easier to set up, you can add as many as properties as per requirement. Now we made it dev profile is active. Along with that I just want to add one more simple change in the bootstrap data service class. So here's the scenario like if dev profile is active then all user class related values also differ. It's simple scenario, like we did in beginning using value annotation same way we will read active profile value. Add just simple condition based on profile value. See it's very easy. Let wait for application restart, it's restarted. If dev profile is active so obviously, it connected with mighty java schema. See it's working.
Now change the profile from Dev to QA. And wait for the restart, as you can see in Log Active Profile is QA. It's restarted. Now its QA profile is active so it should connect with all Mighty Java Schema. Just for testing let's add Mighty Java credentials. See it's telling it's invalid, let's enter the right credentials. See it's working, obviously, no data because it's a fresh DB. You can check same in the database also. Schema created now let's open user table. See data inserted as per the changes which we added. I hope you got the idea of what is the use of profile. Let's just quick review. It's very simple. I checked in my changes to GitHub. I will show you in Git repository called Almighty Java 2.0. See here are the changes. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.